progress, but we didn't. We Mr. Productive, Mr. but not progress. Mr. Speaker, as you get closer to this deadline, if you still don't have a deal, is there any scenario where you would do a clean up or down uh, increase on the debt limit? I a know clean debt ceiling? No. No. <coughs> no. Want, but if you're no. May 31st, you're no, let me be clear. No, we're never putting a clean debt ceiling on the floor. You want to know why? It's like having a child, giving them a credit card, and every single time they hit the limit, you just raised it. To now you owe more money on the credit card than you make in an entire year. Because that's what we have as Americans, that we owe more than our entire economy is. So when are you going to change the direction? We've passed the bill. We have the ability to do this. You don't have to worry because we have a, a bill over on the Senate side that they can pass that it raises the debt ceiling. We can get this job done now. I don't think it's productive for anybody to keep kicking the, down, the, the can down the road. And let me just tell you, for every new American that's so excited, that, that was blessed today by having a new child, by kicking that can down the road, that child got a $94,000 bill today, and they've only been alive one day. That is wrong. And that has got to stop. Speaker McCarthy, um, is an increase to defense veterans and Department of Homeland Security, border security, still a demand for you? Look, all I've said from the very beginning, we need to spend less than we spent this year. Is that hard to do? So how do you know when you spend more on other things? If that's Just like thing? every other household. L l let me explain it to you, okay? We need to spend less, but what have, we, what have we spent when the Democrats have been in power? They've increased spending, especially on discretionary, by more than 20%. We are spending more than at any other time. Then if you want to look at from a point of GDP, we are now more than 24% of GDP spending when on a 50-year average we're at 21%. So how do you do it? We're going to do it like every single household does it. They're going to make a decision on what's the most important, but they're not going to get, be able to spend so much more. So we're going to make a decision just as Republicans and Democrats together. We're going to find a baseline that we agree to that will be less than what we spent this year, and appropriators are going to sit together and prioritize what's right. Do you think it's right that we would spend and leave money, billions of dollars out there for COVID that we appropriated for two years and they never spent and the pandemic's over? What about bringing that money back? What about helping people get back into the workforce so they pay into Social Security and Medicare? I don't think it's right to take from a hardworking taxpayer and go borrow from China to pay an able-bodied person with no dependents to sit on a couch. I think it's more productive. Yes. 